what is up guys it is your boy nigel fury as always i am here you know it same place same time let's do it all right so today with the help of bemo right there right there right there he's right there he's over there okay you guys see him just making sure all right so Today is game day, as always, because BMO's here. Now, we're going to be breaking down these class setups for you guys in this video, showing you guys what I use, how I roll, and what I like to do. All right, so first off, we're going to start off with the Man of War. Now, the Man of War is a very, very good weapon. I love this assault rifle. Uh, it's gotten me through a lot of tough battles and things like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and shed some light on it for you guys and show you what I use. Now, first off, the cat's already out of the bag. You see it just popped up on the screen there. We use for perks awareness and dead silence now the reason why i use those two is because one i like to use awareness to hear, hear what's going on and i like to be aware now i use dead silence because i do not like to hear my footprints like it it irks me and it bugs me a lot hearing my footprints because i get kind of uh paranoid hearing my footsteps i oh, know i said footprints twice i meant footsteps all right so i get paranoid hearing my own footsteps sometimes so i definitely uh like to use dead silence so I don't hear myself and I can hear what's going on around me. Number two, I know I might get beat up for it. I apologize for those of you that like using iron sights on every weapon. Now, I'm a, I'm a big iron sight fan, but for the man of war, I don't know. It just doesn't suit me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I said it doesn't suit me. So, I use elo sight as well as rapid fire, grip, and quick draw. Now, I love quick draw on this weapon because it does help me out a lot, especially for an assault rifle. Quick draw does help. So you guys need to remember that that is key. In my opinion, in my opinion, I know there may be other YouTubers and other people that think differently, but in my opinion, quick draw definitely does help me out. Now for score streaks, we have the uh, Talon, we have the UAV and we have the Wraith. Now for the Wraith, I bring that in on Redwood specifically because I believe that this map was designed for a streak as itself. The reason why I say that is because you have a lot of tree cover. So for those people that really piss you off and shoot down your score streaks, this is that map where they can't do it. Or they're going to have a hell of a hard time doing it. And while they are, that Wraith is going to be flying around up there getting a lot of kills. So that is why I bring it in. You got a lot of tree cover and the Wraith cloaks itself. So it makes it 10 times, 20 times harder for them to be able to shoot down that score streak. Next, we have the Talon. I bring the Talon in for two reasons and two reasons only. So pay very close attention because I'm only going to say it once. I bring in the Talon because it helps cover my six or like some people like to say, it helps cover my ass. And number two, if people are trying to shoot down my score streak, I can fly this bad boy over there and I can go ahead and shoot them down and I can protect that talent, uh, that rate so it can stay up in the air a little bit longer. Now, the most important streak in this class setup, the UAV. I bring in the UAV because there, one, there's a lot of noobs playing this game now. They don't know their way around the map. A lot of people are running around with blast suppressor and stuff like that. So the noobs... You know, they can't really hear what's going on. So by me bringing in a UAV, it helps me see where they're at and it helps the noobs see where they're at also, which in turn can save my behind in the long run, a kill or two. You see what I'm saying? So you guys might want to keep that in mind as well as UAV does help you get your streaks and stuff like that, especially in uh, kill confirmed in this particular match that you see. So that's definitely why I use those score streaks. As you can see, they helped me out a lot. We got a lot of big kills. Very, very big game. This was, I'm, I was very excited about it. That's why I'm sharing it with you guys. And then we go to the Razorback. Now, this is one of my favorite SMGs. I believe on a map like this, the Razorback is a very good weapon to use. I love the iron sight on it. That's why you don't see any other sight on it but the iron sight. I love the iron sight on that weapon. I also love the class setup that I have for it, which is rapid fire. Quick draw, grip, and extended mags. Now, I know you're thinking, well, what the hell, Nigel? You're using extended mags on the Razorback? Yes. The reason being is because on maps like this, I tend to be in medium range as well as short range gunfights a lot when I use the Razorback on this map. So that definitely helps me out a lot in situations where... it might not help you to have extended mags. Like, you're in a gunfight, you're shooting at this guy... But instead of you having to reload when you normally would, you can keep firing and that might get you to kill or somebody might run up on you that might help you get that kill and, you know, everything is cool. So that's definitely why I do that. Uh, 
A biggest thing is, though, that I definitely want to say is on this map, you have to know your way around it. You have to know what you're doing at all times because that one slip up is where they can get you. You know, they can jump in the water. They can run on trees. They can run on the underside of the map. So it's very important to have UAV. That definitely helps you a lot. Or hell, if you want to go for it, I'll say go for the hater. Why not? That'll definitely help you out a lot because it's a more uh, specific um, type of UAV. So I, I would definitely go for that if you can, but for this particular video, for this class setup, this is what I used. And right there, I don't know why I glitched like that. I, I really don't know. But, so that is my class setup for this video. I definitely hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll definitely leave you with the rest of the gameplay. Definitely stay tuned for the video to follow. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. It definitely does help the channel grow. Don't forget to drop a uh, subscribe. That would really help me out a lot, guys. Definitely uh, stay tuned for the t-shirts. Those are dropping soon. I had a minor setback with production, but they are coming out soon. So I definitely appreciate you guys and all the support for all of those of you that said that you will purchase one. I appreciate that, guys. You know, I'll never forget you and my heart goes out to you. And definitely stay tuned for the montage that's coming out tonight at midnight, guys. Definitely stay tuned for that. I can't wait for it. And without further ado, I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the video. I appreciate you. I love you. And... I'm out of here, guys, and as always, keep the fingers on the trigger. Peace.
You heard of somebody named Cass Ryder? growing big too. He'll be at a million before you know it. So I mean it's For it, Dave, why do you ask me what am I think about it? If I want to do something, then I'll take it. 